Hello, this is multiply integers. Before we go, so let's review what we learned about subtract integers. The average temperature in Calgary, Canada is 22 degrees Celsius and negative 11 degrees in January. Find the range or difference of the highest and the lowest. The word difference is what operation? Subtraction. So, many ways you could do this. You could do it with modeling. I could draw 5, 10, 15, 20. I could draw 22 positives. It says I need to take away or remove 11 negatives from this picture. But there aren't any. Do you remember zero pairs? Let's draw some zero pairs. So how many zero pairs do I need to draw? Well, it says I need to take away 11 negatives. So I probably need to draw 11 zero pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What are zero pairs again? It's when you have a positive and negative. They cancel out. Because it, if you put a zero pair to this, nothing happens. Because the negative positive cancels out. They all go away. It's still 22 Celsius. You cannot just stick negatives here. Because if you do, it changes the complete value of 22. So now, it says take away negative 11s. So what do you have left? I have 22 positive, 11 positive, 22 plus 11 is 33 degrees. There's a difference of 30 degree, 33 degrees between these two temperatures. Another way you can see it is the following. Some of you may use, I heard some people use KCF, KAO, or we use add the opposite. So add the opposite. What is that? Well, you see it in our drawing rate. We started with 22 positives. We are adding 11 more positives to this picture, if you can tell from the picture. So here's our original problem. You start with 22 degrees. You are adding, so change the subtraction to an adding. What is the opposite of negative 11? Positive 11. So 22 plus 11, 33 degrees. So that is the difference. Another way to do it is look at a thermometer. Here's 22, here's negative 11. What's the difference from here all the way down here? There's a difference here of 22 degrees. From here to here, there's a difference of 11 degrees. So 22 plus 11 is 33. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. All right, so multiply integers. Yellow will represent positive. Red will represent negative. The expression 2 times 4 can be modeled as. You learned this since third grade. 2 times 4 means 2 groups of 4. So it's 2 groups of positive 4. Here's one group of positive 4. Here's a second group of positive 4. So what is the product of this? Count positive 8. What you say? It's not very easy. So draw a model represent each of the following expressions, then give the product of the multiplication. 2 times 6. Yes, I'm going to make you do this. 2 times 6 means 2 groups of 6. 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 12. 3 times 5. That's three groups of five. Here's one group of five. Here's a second group of five. Here's a third group of five. So that is 15. Three groups of two. One group of two, second group of two, third group of two. That is six. Four times three. Four groups of three. And this is 12. So these parentheses mean groups of. Three groups of two. Four groups of three. This little dot, multiplication dot, is a multiplication dot. When, so when a positive number is multiplied by a positive number, it's a product of positive or negative. As you can tell, positive. You've learned this since third grade. This is nothing new. Now, let's get to sixth grade. The expression 2 times negative 4 what does that mean? That's two groups of negative four. 
So instead of saying two groups of positive four, we're doing two groups of negative four. Here is one group of negative four. Here's a second group of negative four. What's the product? Negative eight. So let's model some. Draw a model represent each of the following expressions and give the product of the multiplication. Two times negative six. So we have two groups of negative six. That's negative 12. Three times negative five. That's three groups of negative five. Here's one group of negative five. Here's a second group of negative five. Here's a third group of negative five. So that's negative 15. Three times negative two. That means three groups of negative two. That's negative six. Four times negative three. That's four groups of negative three. So that's negative 12. So when a positive number is multiplied by negative integers, what did you notice? You're telling groups of negative numbers. So of course the answer will be negative. So now, now this is where it gets a little sticky. The expression negative 2 times 4. You cannot have negative group. It does not make sense. You can't group things into negative groups. So this negative on the outside means opposite of. You've seen this before. Remember these examples? What is the absolute value of 7? How far is 7 from 0 on the number line? 7 units. This negative means take the opposite of that answer. So that's negative 7. So hopefully I am jogging your memory. I've known I've talked about this for the last two weeks. So it's saying, what's the opposite of two groups of 4? So we are grouping the opposite. So we have two groups of 4. So right now, you have positive 8. But it says the opposite of. If you have the flip coin, you just turn it over. So the opposite of it is negative 8. So let's practice a couple of these. Opposite of. Draw a model. Negative 2 times 6. Say, what's the opposite of two groups of 6? Well, here are a group of 6. Here's the second group of 6. But it says opposite of this. So let's do the opposite of it. So opposite of it, as you see, I'm putting on it. These are not zero pair. I'm putting on top of it. Hopefully you can see that. That's negative 12. Next one. What's the negative 3 times 5? What's the opposite of 3 groups of 5? Well, here is one group of 5. Here's a second group of 5. Here's a third group of 5. So what's the opposite of 15? Negative 15. Negative 3 times 2. What's the opposite of 3 groups of 2? That's positive 6. Opposite of 6 is negative 6. Negative 4 times 3. What's the opposite of 4 groups of 3? Here are 1 group of 3, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. It says do the opposite of, so I'm going to put this on top of it. These are not zero pairs, they're putting it on top of it. But if we had the flip coins, you would see it perfectly. You just flip the coin over, and you're going to do it in class. That's negative 12. So what happens when you multiply a negative by a positive? Did you notice that all the answers were negative? Another way to think about it is this. Opposite of five groups of two. We're going to be learning something called commutative property. Commutative property is this. What's five times 11? 55. Could you also say that 11 times 5 is 55? Yes. So commutative property is, is the reversal of it. So negative 5 times 2 is the same as saying 2 times negative 5. Didn't we just work on this? 
two groups of negative 5 is negative 10. So when you work with a negative and a positive, the answer will be negative. You can either say, this is the opposite of 5 groups of 2. Opposite of 5 groups of 2. So it's 10, opposite of negative. Or you could do commutative property and do two groups of negative 5. Now the most toughest one, negative by negative. This is where everybody gets lost. Like, so the expression negative 2 times negative 4 can be thought as the opposite again. We're, again, we're still talking about opposite. This is the opposite of two groups of negative 4. So we needed two groups of negative 4. So what is the opposite of this? Again, if you had a flip coin, you would just turn this over. So you get 8 as the answer. So I would say, do the opposite of 2 groups of negative 4. So we're going to practice a couple of these. Negative 2 times negative 5. This thing, what is the opposite of 2 groups of negative 5? Here's negative 5. What's the opposite of this? Well, if we have negative 10, oh, it's not going over it. So we can look at this. This is negative 10. The opposite of it is 10. Next one. Negative 3 times negative 5. It's saying what's the opposite of 3 groups of negative 5? Here's negative 5. Oh, very accurate. 3 groups of negative 5. That's negative 15. What's the opposite of it? It will not flip around. Oh, there it is. Again, these are not zero pair. If we had to flip counters, I don't know why that's not going over it. So the opposite of negative 15 will be positive 15. I don't know if you remember this. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll keep going. Next one. What's the negative 4 times negative 2? What is the opposite of 4 groups of negative 2? So that's negative 8. Opposite of it is 8. What is the negative 5 times negative 3? What's the opposite of 5 groups of negative 3? So we have negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. Fifth group. That's negative 15. Opposite of it is 15. So what pattern do you notice? When a negative integer is multiplied by a negative, what do we keep getting? Seems like we kept getting positive because you're doing the opposite of an opposite. So, opposite of the negative. So, opposite of a negative will be positive. So, write a rule. What rule did you notice when they both have the same sign? When both questions are positive and when both questions are negative. Let's go back. Well, we learned this in third grade. When you multiply two positives, it's positive. When you multiply two negatives, let's see, it's the opposite of a negative. Oh, opposite of a negative is positive. What did you notice the rule for positive with different signs? Negative, positive, positive. So it's saying you have groups of negative numbers. They're all groups of negative numbers, and it's negative. Opposite of positive is negative. So when the signs are like each other, positive. When the signs are different, negative. So let's practice this. What's, well, 4 times 3 is 12. Let's do the second one. 6 groups of negative 3. So 6 groups of negative. Negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. That's negative 18. Negative 4 times 4. What's the opposite of 4 times 4? 4 times 4 is 16. Opposite of it, negative 16. Negative 7 times negative 2. What's the opposite of 7 times negative 2? 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Opposite is 14. And that's for now.